And there's a ground ball back up the middle, and that's through for a base hit. Floyd touches the bag at third. He's headed home. There'll be no throw, and the Rebels take a one to nothing lead, and Errol has driven in all the runs so far in this series. Brown looks to second for the stretch and delivers, and that's a line drive into center field, and it's down for a base hit. Robinson touches the bag at third. He's going to come on home, and he will dive and score. He had to wait a little bit, and I really thought Robinson had a shot at catching that, but apparently not, and he tried to slow the runners, and the Rebels lead 2 to nothing on Colby Bortles' RBI single. And a pitch from Brown. Swung on, fly ball, center field, well hit. Center fielder Robson going toward the wall, jumps up. It's gone! Showers in right field. A three-run bomb oppo for Orvis, and the Rebels have jump-started this one 5 to nothing. Wow, Sykes Orvis almost dead center field, opposite field side of center field. And what a start to this Friday night game for the Rebels. And nothing gets by you, nothing. Swung on, fly ball, right field. That ball's crushed. That ball's gone. Solo shot. J.B. Woodman. He didn't miss that one. Home run number seven for him, and the Rebels are up six to nothing in the first. Well, fastball in or half, and J.B. got the barrel there. And I'm going to bet J.B. wears those pants down again tomorrow night, D.K., because that was some kind of good swing right there. The one-two to Orvis. That's over his head and hustling home is Cloyd. He'll slide and score on a wild pitch and Bortles goes to second base. The wild pitch, 2-2 to Orvis. And he hits one of the right field corners. That down, that's a base hit. Past the right fielder, Vickerson. Golson will score. Orvis is motoring for second and he slides in with a double. Eight to four Ole Miss, RBI. Number four of the game and number 42 of the year for Orvis, and he pulls even with Bortles. Mitchell delivers, and that's a little poke shot over the shortstop Gridley. He's not very tall, and it cost him there. He went up to try to make a catch. He timed it right, but it went right off the tip of the glove, just kind of poked it into play. And 11 and 8, and the ERA won something the first two years. Nick Perkins is going to dump one into right field. It's a fair ball, and it skips past the right fielder, Vickerson. He'll pick it up. One run will score. Rounding third, heading home is Woodman, and he is safe standing. And into third base goes Perkins. And the Rebels are rolling on the dogs. And the pitch. Swung on, fly ball, left center field. Left fielder running over. Humphreys will make the catch. Tagging at third is Golson. He'll hustle home, and Austin Knight's going to get a sacrifice fly. And it's 13-6. Kicks and delivers. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the Rebels win 13-10 and capture the series. Well, you've got to love the way Wag is back and Short were able to get this game back under control. DK, it had gotten scary there at one point, but Rebels able to do what they need to do tonight to set up a huge game three tomorrow.